Hey everyone, thanks for being here. On this episode, we're gonna take on a caricature version of one of cinema's most classic monsters, Frankenstein. We'll be painting him in acrylic on one of my customized rockets. Every morning. Oh. <laughs> Get going on this Franken rocket party. All right, so let's get started on this thing. Get this set up here, all beautiful. tape it down so it can't move as we start our drawing. So overall, first thing I want to do is I'm going to come up here. I know I want to kind of have this cartoony look, you know. I'm going to start up in the corner here. Quickly lay out my proportions. So what I want to do is kind of give him this, this big flat head. Okay, I'm going to put his face kind of low and sort of look into the side over here. And then he's got this, this big old forehead up here that it's got the stitches and all the bolts and all the fun stuff going on. I'm going to try and make his eyes a little farther down here, maybe like, I don't know, somewhere in here, his eyeballs. This is kind of already setting up the stage how I envision him to look. You know, his nose, since he's gonna be kinda looking to the side, I think I'll have his nose kinda somewhere in here. And this will be the tip of his nose. And remember, this is a cartoon, so don't get all critical on me. <laughs> but once you get the points in there that you're gonna use for reference, once you start getting all that in, it makes it easier to visualize where you're going with this thing. So let's finish, let's kind of get a little bit better finish on his nose here. Now he's gonna have this real crinkly looking Frankenstein nose, right? That's gonna put his, the center of his eyebrows just a little off-centered here. Now eyebrows, the shape of the brow, like if you look at eyes, this is surprised, this is happy. If you lower your brow like this, it looks like you're angry. So the brow really determines the expression. So what I want this to do, I want him to be kind of ornery looking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out here, round on this side a little bit. And then on this one, we're gonna go, it's gonna come up, it's gonna kinda, kinda go straight across. And then up. Now keep in mind, he's kind of at an angle here. One of the characteristics of Frankenstein is his really large brow. It's a big part of his personality. Okay, so let's put a big old grin on this guy so he's having a good time. He's, got, he's getting kind of a cool look on his face. Now then, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this smile up just a wee bit. Now most of the Frankensteins I've seen, they don't have a very big ears. I guess maybe when they were building him, they couldn't couldn't find anything better. But anyways, he kind of has kind of that thing going on. Maybe even smaller. That's kind of. I want him to have little ears.
big old square melon. He really does have a big old square melon. I think that's part of why I like him so much. Cheesy smile. Sort of a big fan of cheesy. It's one of my personality traits. <laughs> I mean, I want this guy to look like he could be a dental commercial. <laughs> This guy, my best friend, the eraser. I erase all the time. Square it off, and come straight down. Lock that wrist and pull it straight down, just like that. All right, so I chopped the top on this guy about an inch and a half to get the right look. <laughs> kind of the access port here where they could get in there and fiddle around if they needed to. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, Good big old fat neck on this guy. Clear over here. I'm just going to kind of give it the zombie jagged edge thing here. One very important thing needs to happen. Neck bolts. Big old gnarly neck bolts. And another coming out of his neck and this is the center of the bolt. So this is kind of my vanishing point. So what I'll do, kind of run my pencil straight across like this so that I kind of have an idea where the other bolt should be. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He's a monster. What do monsters do? They drool. Monsters drool. It's just what monsters do. The thing about coming in with markers, as long as you're close to the line, we're gonna erase whatever's left over and it'll just be marker. And this is kind of a nice, um, this is a nice way of doing it. So I use Sharpie quite a bit. They're readily available and they hold up really well. Never be afraid to go extreme. Need that little highlight. We'll put some white on that later. Oh yeah. we we'll erase all this pencil out before we start coloring. Because we know that our Frank is green. A little bit of this nuclear neon flexible acrylic satisfaction second.
<laughs> oh yeah, let's get rocking. So for block out, I think I'll probably use this brush. Um, this is a, a half inch sword style brush. I always like using these for blocking because you can flip it around and do different things. That's what I like about these um, these sword style, dagger style brushes is they, they'll get right up in there. And this wood's unprimered. So it but I wanted the uh, grain to show through to kind of give a skin tone. And this is really the reason I did this this way. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments. I try to get back to the comments as quickly as I can. Sometimes it takes me a day or so, but um, I have a lot of knowledge as far as years of experience and I don't know everything, but I, I'll find out the best I can, anything that I can answer, any questions I could answer. Well, look at those teeth. There's some contrast for you. <laughs> okay, we'll do this light purple on the hair. And then we'll add some uh, detail. Okay, in the next step, I'm going to quickly throw in some of this fluorescent blue. It's just to add a, a little more depth to his hair. Not only that, I really like the way the blue and purple go together. So you start out with a light pressure on the brush and you really flatten it out and then I let back off on that pressure and it kind of gives it that, see how I, there you go. It just takes it to a point, brings it larger in the middle and then the point comes back at the end like this, watch. Press down and then back up. It's a nice effect. And some hard highlights. And there he is. Next video, I'll show you how to do an extremely cool background. Thank you for watching. And remember, never be afraid to be just a little bit odd. Rob Rocket, over and out.